There's a lot going on, even though markets will be closed for Good Friday. We'll be releasing one more video this week. Let's take a look at what's coming up. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. First up is the February Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index. Economists are projecting an increase in headline PCE of 2.5% year-over-year, which would be a tenth of a point faster than the pace set in January. Core PCE, like core inflation measures, excludes more volatile food and energy prices and is forecast to land at 2.8% year-over-year, matching January's pace. While still meaningfully higher than the Fed's 2% target, core PCE right now is at its lowest level since March 2021. Nothing about this week's inflation data is likely to change the central bank's expectation it will begin loosening monetary policy this year. Fed officials' latest summary of economic projections suggests they'll make three quarter point rate cuts before the end of the year with traders saying there's a near 75% chance the first cut will come in June. Also this week, we'll be treated to more numbers gauging the condition of the housing market. Analysts project that new single-family homes were sold at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 675,000 last month, 14,000 more than the number sold in January. On Tuesday, We'll hear from S&P CoreLogic with its Case-Shiller Home Price Index for January. Economists expect that the index increased at a rate of 6.6% year-over-year, a half point better than the 6.1% annual rate posted in December. Then on Thursday, the National Association of Realtors will release its Pending Home Sales Index for February. The index, which measures changes in the number of homes under contract, is projected to have climbed 1.5% last month, which would be something of a turnaround from January when it sank 4.9%. On Thursday, the Commerce Department will release the third and final estimate for growth of gross domestic product in the fourth quarter of 2023. The consensus expectation is that this estimate will essentially confirm what the second estimate said, that GDP grew last quarter at an annualized rate of 3.2%. Finally, we'll hear from the conference board this week when it releases its Consumer Confidence Index for March. Economists forecast a reading of 107.8 which is roughly a point above where the index landed in February. That's it for now. Look out for our video later this week about how accelerating national debt could be driving gold demand to new heights. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.